the ugly truth about your business. Let's talk about that. If you read a line, you see a lot of people giving a lot of reason why business fails, right? And if you follow those reasons, if you follow those things, that means your business will become a success, right? For example, I read an article about um, why business fails, and they talk about a lot of reasons why business fail. One of those reasons are, or is, not having the effective business plan. We will come back into that. Another reason is not putting the customer first. Mm, it depends on the situation. Another reason is not hiring the right people. Hmm. Okay, interesting. It's an interesting. Doing it all by yourself. Um, sometimes it's better to do it all by yourself. And another thing is lack of flexibility. Mm, okay. I'm not going to discuss all those points. And the reason I'm not doing that is because if I read this article, that means that the person that wrote this is just trying to get attention or just trying to get those people that are dreaming in order to have a business and giving some advice that they cannot use. And if you know me by now, you know, I'd, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to tell you my experience, tell you things that some plans for my are having. I'm just going to be real with you. If you have some question, you can just go in the law center on a Discord, just ask me a question. I will try to help you out. It's that simple. But I will be real with you. Yeah. If you look at these things, let's go at the first part. I'm not going to discuss everything. Not having an effective business plan. The thing is, if you know me by now, if you watch some of my old videos, you will see that I'm not a big fan of business plan. I'm a business plan. I'm a big fan of the canvas, business model canvas, because if you know your business has a business model, you can just start. You do not need to plan because if you look at the business model, you use the business model to check or to test the things that you have in mind. Most people think when you have a plan, I need to follow the plan. I remember I watched something and someone said it's really nice. They said you need to have a plan, execute a plan, expect the plan to go um, yeah, derail. So expect a lot of things to go wrong and then improvise. So four things. I really like that because that's life. Seriously, that's life. You make a plan, you execute a plan, expect things to go wrong, and improvise. It's that simple. And the thing is, here they're saying, oh, you need to create a business plan, but you also need to create a business map plan, whatever. It doesn't matter what you call it. I disagree with that. Just create a simple plan. Keep it simple because if you look at business plan these days, wow, they are too complicated. Some people be like, hey, I need business plan in order to get money for my business. You do not need a lot of money to start your business. I just say it. You do not need that. What you need to do is get customers. As long as you have customers, continue customer, you can grow. And yes, sometimes you will be like, hey, I need a lot of money to develop my product first before I can sell it. Yes, but you can start with a prototype. Invest in it yourself. It doesn't have to be expensive. And if you start by doing that, you're learning more about your product or services, much better. So, yes, you need money, but you don't need a lot. And sometimes you can finance it by yourself or with the help of family, but you do not need a lot. I can imagine if you want to open a restaurant, it's going to cost a lot of money. But you can start at home. You can start at home making some home meals for people, de deliver them. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you use your own kitchen and then based on that, you're going to grow. So you don't have to, you, you, you should think big, but you don't have to start big because it's going to be difficult unless you have the financial means to start big. And sometimes it's not smart to start big because you do not know if it's going to work or not. And if you start small, you know if it's going to work or not, you will blow up if it works. If it doesn't work, you know, okay, I need to adjust. But when you're big, it's hard to adjust. That's why you see a lot of dinosaurs, big companies, they cannot adjust. Because time, a lot of things move fast. Because they are big, they cannot change a lot of things by themselves. And that's the thing. So, the only truth about your business is, don't focus too much on those things. Keep it simple. Try to solve the solution for your customers. Right? And don't try to please the customer. Solve their problem. As soon as you solve the problem, you're good to go. Because I see some people that try to please the customer, giving them discount. Why? Seriously, why? But yeah, it's just me talking. But uh, I hope you guys like this video. I, guys, I hope you guys can use this information. If you have questions, just go in the law center and ask me. Seriously, don't be afraid to ask. Just ask me. 
And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. Or if you didn't already, subscribe. I'm waiting. See you guys in the next video.